Cognac? Thank you. How dare you, sir? No more of this jazz for me, baby. Dig it? Isn't it beautiful? How shall we begin? First off, congratulations. The Film Foundation is celebrating its 30th year, and you guys have helped restore uh, 850 films, which is really staggering. It turned out to be 850 as it, up to now, and there'll be more in the future, we hope. When we formed it in 1990, it came out of a, a period of becoming aware of the condition and the state of things in terms of film heritage, the heritage that, we're in, or that was in the vaults so to speak, of uh, the Hollywood studios to start with. What started all of this, of course, was trying to find films that we were excited about as we began to make our own films. I know Francis Coppola would talk about one picture that he couldn't find a copy of anymore, and then we find out that, you know, George Lucas also saw that, and Spielberg saw that one, and very often we didn't agree on the ones that we had suggested to each other, but what was happening is that film was alive and it was always new. All the quote unquote old films were new, you know, and if you could find good copies, it was amazing. We were zealots in that sense. We were zealots for cinema expression, movie expression, film expression, whether it was Hollywood, uh, Europe, Japan, uh, North Africa, everything. But what we found that in the 70s, early 70s, trying to uh, find a print of something, but finding that those prints were not really available, and what was available was deteriorating. Color film was really uh, fading rapidly, right. as opposed to Technicolor and Technicolor Imbibition printing. A lot of the older prints uh, look gorgeous, but they were nitrate, so they don't have much time left. Also, at that time, we discovered there was a new enemy, and that was the vinegar syndrome, and that destroys a film too, you see. Nitrate just disintegrates, but the vinegar syndrome destroys the picture in another way, melts the film. It's a very fragile medium, and it's disintegrating and going. You know, I think there's 80 or 90 percent, I may be wrong, but uh, the actual percentage number of all asylum films are gone. They're gone right. forever. At that point, Bob Rosen of UCLA looked at me and he said, why don't you take this opportunity to put together a group of major filmmakers, and create a foundation to at least raise the consciousness of those who are now heads of studios, those who controlled the vaults, because they are trusted stewards, in a way. It's April again, and love aligning the banks of the sea. And that's how the Film Foundation really was formed, with that concept in mind, to try to uh, make everyone av aware of the value of this art form. Mm -hmm. 